show you how I make another sleeve on this dress. Um, just a little bit of backstory. I had a little bit of trouble with um, making this dress. I wanted to make a dress, but the fabric is organza and I really underestimated how quickly it would move around. Um, so I had to pin it more, but it was not possible. Should I should have made it up front. Um, so making a sleeve with it was not possible. We have something over her arm on the other side, but I really like this shot, but I do think her arm is asking a lot of attention. So, oh, first of all, I did all my layers already. Um, I can show you real quick what the semi-original was, because it's not completely original, because I did some stuff in Lightroom. Um, I shot it pretty dark, and that was my mistake, honestly. I should have shot it a little bit lighter. Um, but overall, I just had a busy day. Also, the first time I was doing it, uh, like doing the photo shoot with the repeat background that you see here, <laughs> that was a hassle as well. So anyway, I can always fix it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all I did. And I made an, like a, a layer on top of it all right now. Like I put everything together so I can work on this layer. So I'm going to take my lasso tool and take a piece of fabric out here because that kind of seems like it would be a nice little sleeve. Got, uh, command C, command V because copy and pasting. And I'm turning it around because the shadow is on the other side. Well, there is some shadow up here as well, but we'll see. Look, that already looks interesting. Um, now, the only thing I have to do, because you can kind of see it's a repeat from here, especially because of this here. So I think what I'm going to try first is warp it a little bit to see how that feels. Let's see, go to filter and then the liquify tool. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, move it around a little bit. Yeah, so I think I want to have it stretched out a little bit more here and then make a little dent right here. I could also look, maybe I should try that first. Make a masking tool with it. Take my brush and kind of see what it would look like if I dip it down by doing this. It's not gonna be perfect at first. I'm gonna clean it up later, but I just wanna get a general feel from it. That should be about fine. And then I need to kind of see where I want the sleeve to quit. So a lot of the things that I'll have to do is work with shading to make it look like it's actually coming from somewhere and making sure it's um, the endings and sharp. Because right now I'm using a soft brush and you can tell the like how it's looking there. So let me try a hard brush to get the harder edges. Because you can tell like here are some edges of the dress and they're hard. So it needs to be a hard edge. And then we'll look at, make it look real with the shading. Now you can see that the dress is stopping here. So I'm getting a hole right there. So I need to paint that back on. I can do that easily by pressing pressing X, you can see here how the black and white tool will be switching around. So if I paint with white, um, it will bring back what I painted away. If you look into masking layers, you'll understand it's not that hard. It looks kind of spooky when you first do it, but it's really easy. All right, so here are some hard edges right there. And then I have to kind of brush a little bit away and also here there's something right there that needs to go so honestly a lot of people do this by selecting um, a piece of fabric and taking it but I'm really lazy and honestly half the time you don't even see it and I like brushing it's like painting so for me this works the best but I completely understand people who do it differently because sometimes it is quicker um, but this works for me it works just fine I think we've got a nice little shape here. I like that it's kind of fluffy right here. Now I want this edge to go over here. There's several ways to do that. I can try and do it with my transform tool, like stand on the edge here, got this one out, there we go, and then pull it like that. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks all right. Then I want this in a little bit more. 
the warp tool and also with the liquify tool you have to be kind of easy on it and kind of see if it doesn't warp too much where the quality of the image gets really weirded out but this looks fine yeah that, that looks fine all right back to the masking layer and just cleaning it up here because i see a little haze right there there we go i think that's kind of all right so it still looks fake but it starts to look like something i still feel like the light spot that's hitting right here i kind of want to back that in here a little bit more and i will use the liquify tool for that here you see me trying it out with the liquify tool um, i just wanted to make it look more real but it didn't work the quality was really bad uh, every time i tried it and that just happens with the liquify tool so i'm going to solve it another way still a little iffy i don't know let's see what the transform tool does i don't work with these tools all the time so if you're looking and you're like well <laughs> bertina you should have done this way differently. I know how to. Please let me know in the comments. Oh, wrong spot. This I don't use normally, so I'm just trying this out right now. So don't hate me for it. Because it is pulling everything away. So maybe if I add another one right here and I pull it back. There we go. Did that actually change anything? It does look better than with the other tool. Let me see real quick, where is my history? Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, no, I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, <laughs> and let's see if I can work around that. Um, all right, I do an empty layer. People do this differently. You can add a curve layer, but I'm just gonna do it my way. And that's doing it by an empty layer. And then it differentiates what kind of color I use. Normally I take a color out of the skin and then paint over it a little bit. This looks real harsh, but then I use like soft light and stuff to kind of see if I can make it look real. And um, now my brush is at 100%. So what's the better way to do it? Um, is just by making your brush like 25% and kind of start painting because then you can build it up because a shade if you notice it's always like harder at the top and then softer at the bottom i need to have the difference which one did i just have i think it was this one and there we go mm, that seems about right and i also like it um that it kind of gives this pinkish color because I can imagine when the light comes through the fabric, it kind of gets that color on the skin first and then shows a shade. So that should be about right. And then of course we do a little bit at the top, but just, just tiny, like, like what she has here in her arm, that little piece of shading. Um, but it needs to be sharp, so I'm just gonna brush with 100%, see how that looks. That's too much. Let's try 60%. Just edge it up a little bit. And I can always kind of take some out again, because I do feel like here it's too much. And of course, I don't make sleeves in Photoshop all the time, so... This looks almost believable. I do think her hair here is a little bit distractive because it kind of looks like... No, no, it's fine. I think if you don't know it. Okay, so now I need to have a little bit more shading right here. Especially here because there's a lot of fabric coming together right there. Mm, take some. And sometimes, you know, in some corners, the color will work and then you come in another corner and it doesn't work. I just try to take a core, like a color that's nearby and brush it in. And also something that's deceptive right here is that we have a lot of light here, but then all of a sudden there's shade here. So that's not right. So what I'm thinking that I might do, and I'll have to readjust the shading again, but let's try that. Um, color this away. 
kind of take this out right here and then I'll have to use either the warp tool or something else to kind of put it back in place. Like I want to get this corner right here and then I kind of pull it and I pull this maybe a little bit more backwards, which also gives it a different shade and I do like that. Alright, um, I do think the shading there looks weird now, so we need to erase some of that. I could use a masking layer, but I don't think it's that important right now. Alright, and then we bring some a little bit of shading back. Use the color that we have right here. Oh, that's a little too hard, maybe. Let's try 50%, see how that works. Build it up a little bit. Now what I also notice is that the color here is more vibrant than here. This feels grayish. And it's maybe because here the light is not as vibrant anymore and so the color also kinda tucks down. So what I wanna do is sample a color, make a new layer, put it all the way on top, put the color over it in like 100% so it's very visible, and then do the overlay and like color. And then it should, yep light up you see that it's much more colorful this is what it was grayish colorful so it kind of more fits this corner right here maybe I'll just put a little bit of that also here all right I think we have a pretty believable sleeve the top still feels a little off so I'm gonna try go back in, do a little bit more of shading there but I think we're almost there Um, the last thing that I wanted to do is maybe add a little bit more light here because I do feel it's a little bit more too, too dark there in like if you see what is all light because the light is coming from this side so it should be more lighter and I'm just gonna try and do it as easy as possible by adding some white. Let's do 100% see how that looks. There we go. I know it's a little harsh. Um, but I can easily tone it down. Let's see if another overlay would work better. Oh, my cat wants out. He's like, mommy, open up the door. You're mean. All right, but I think we're done here anyway. I'm going to add a little bit of shading there. I'm also just doing that in the same layer. I'm completely lazy. What works, works, people. Really, uh, you don't have to... The client is not concerned with how you do it, really. So, there we go. I might work on this a little bit longer, like the light. Honestly, I do normally use dodging and burning, which will look a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Create a little bit more shading again. I think it looks pretty good. I think we're done. All right, well, thanks for watching. Maybe you, um, it will help you out when you're in crisis. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, bye.